Lawrence Shankland, welcome to Beerschot. Why Beerschot? Um, I've been in Scotland a while now um, and I was getting to the point I felt like it was maybe time for a new challenge and when I heard that Beerschot were interested in the opportunity to, to come and play in the Belgian top league it was something I was interested in right from the start and I'm just delighted to be here. What kind of player is Lauren Shankland? What kind of player can the fans expect? Um, I've been a goal scorer up until now, so um, hopefully that continues and that will be the case here. Um, if I'm scoring goals as a striker, my time will be successful, but I like to think that I bring a bit more to the team than, than just goals and I can help out in other ways, so I'm just looking forward to getting started. Do you have a certain style, a playing style? Are you fast or, or maybe you're more of a poacher inside of the box? I'm not the quickest, um, I'll admit that, but um, probably in about the box is, is where I come alive. Um, that's probably my strongest part of my game. I've got decent movement, I like to think, in the box, and, and that seemed to get me goals up until now. So, as I said, hopefully that's the case here. I've seen that you've scored almost everywhere you went, um, mm -hmm. or every club. Do you know how many goals you've scored in total? Um, I'm not sure. I think I'm closing in on 150, though, for my career. So, um, hopefully. This is a club where I can reach that landmark and, and hopefully plenty more after that. The transfer market put you at 140 and then one for the Scottish national team. Mm -hmm. Which was your favourite goal? Um, scoring for your country, I think, doesn't, no, doesn't get much better feeling than that. But um, I scored one last season from just over the halfway line. Um, and I'm just I'm sad that it was in front of an empty stadium and not a full one. But it was probably my most enjoyable goal in terms of um, technique and the type of goal, but scoring for my country was definitely my proudest. You've um, had an incredible 2019-2020 season, mm -hmm. uh, even better than, than last season, uh, where you scored 24 goals in 26 games. It must have been an incredible feeling. Yeah, it was my, my first season um, at Dundee United, so it was good to, to hit the ground running there. I scored in my first match in the cup competition and then I scored four goals in the first league game. Um, on my home debut, so it was a good start and um, I managed to just keep that form going throughout the season and, and as you said, finished on a really high number of goals, so if I can have a similar start here, um, then I'm sure I'll be in a good place. That season was also the season that you got you know, called up for the national squad the mm -hmm. first time because of the fact that you scored that many goals. Is it is it maybe something that's in the back of your head? If I if I start for a Belgian team, then there's a higher chance for me playing for, for my national team as well? Yeah, um, I feel like I'm coming to a league where the standard of football is really high and if I can prove myself in, in this division and, and score goals here then I think I've got a good chance to be back involved in the national team and that is something that I will be aiming for so it was probably part of my decision as well to, to choose a club in this division and, and be a shot obviously being the key one who are interested. You're the, the first time for you that you play for a club outside of Scotland, um, what do you think the transition will be like? Um, it could take time, but I'm hoping to hit the ground running. Um, I've met a lot of people today from the club and they're all really friendly and um, thankfully they all, they all speak good English, so it's made it easy for me. Um, I'll try and pick up some of the language as I go and, and be a bit kind in, towards them, but um, nah, it'll be good for me. Um, it's a new challenge and I've always thought about playing in Europe and it was something I was ambitious to do, so I'm glad to be here. Make it, make, make it a little bit easier, but one of your new teammates you already know, and mm -hmm. he's called Faye Ferns, a big guy uh, in centre back. You've played with him before? Yeah, um, I played against him first of all when he was at Partick Thistle, and then when I moved to Dundee United, he was there for a short time. But um, a short time in football is a long time, I think it was six weeks we crossed paths, and we got a decent relationship there, and I've been in touch with him ever since. So um, once he heard that, that we were short interested as well, he was, he was on to me on my texts. And, um, he's happy to see me here too, so I'm looking forward to joining up with him. Did you talk to him by any chance? Did he tell you anything about the club? Yeah, yeah, I asked him for, for some information. Obviously, when I heard the, the club was interested, it's it's good to have a wee bit of a background coming to a place, and um, everything he told me was positive, and it kind of confirmed that this is where I wanted to come. Okay, do you have any specific goals for yourself, or maybe for the team? Um, hopefully start well. Um, of course, the team are already three games into the season, so... Hopefully we can we can kick on right from the start from when I join with the team. I'm um, looking forward to getting to training and hopefully positive results. Positive results leads to a happy football club. So I'm sure that's what everybody's aiming for. Okay, thank you and good luck. Thank you.